Hello everyone, welcome into the world of the Marble Machine X. Last week we played 20,000 marbles on the snare drum, but 61 marbles failed. In this video I'm going to try to fix all the issues that caused 61 marbles to fail, and then I'm going to try to play 30,000 marbles on the Marble Machine X, hopefully with zero fails. Here are all the fails from the last test and here are all the fixes to fix them. What I really want to fix today is these 19 marbles that missed the funnel in last week's test. When I dropped the marbles manually, they hit the funnel in the middle every time perfectly. So I want to figure out why are some marbles actually missing the funnel. I'm gonna put these glasses in front of the funnel. So here you can see the size of the funnel and when I put a zero over it, you can see how much smaller that opening is. It doesn't touch the edges. Nothing but wheels on net. Here comes the left channel. I mean, that is freakish. Look, it's the hole is 20 millimeter, the marble is 16. It doesn't touch the sides. I've just demonstrated to you how freakishly accurate these droppers are. The design is perfect. I worked a lot to be able to drop from two points and hit the nose of Wilson. So what's actually going on here? Why did 19 marbles out of 20,000 miss this big funnel when Wilson's nose is so small and the marbles are so accurate hitting the middle of the funnel? So here's my theory. There is two different movements of the dropper. First of all, the whole machine is vibrating and shaking. And second, the dropper is moving when the gate is returned. When the gate returns, it causes the dropper to shake. It's hard to tell on this image, but if I zoom in and film in slow motion, you can really see it. There are two ways I can solve this problem. The easy way would be to move the funnel or make a larger funnel. So let's say that we just move the funnel here. The marble would hit every time. But I want the curve of the marble to hit the top because that's the whole fun thing with the marble machine to have the marble jumping up sailing weightlessness in and returning down to earth in because of gravity right <laughs> that's the whole cool thing with the machine i don't want to catch the marble right after hitting the snare drum we can put it here problem solved right so plan B is to move the funnel into a better position. I'm sure I can catch 30,000 marbles straight. I'm not here to follow any plan Bs and make things easy for myself. I want to get to the root of this problem. I want to eliminate this two kind of movement and I'm gonna try that first before moving the funnels. So the first thing I'm gonna tackle is the vibration of the whole machine itself. If I can remove unwanted movements of the whole Marble Machine X, I will have a much better chance of getting all the 30,000 marbles entering the funnel correctly. I'm going to start with a really fun little project making belt runners for the timing belts. Look at the shaking of this timing belt here. So what I want to do is... I have two long timing belts on the Marble Machine X and both of them are shaking and vibrating around and I thought I'd just make some really simple bearing rollers to put in the middle of the belt to just stop them from vibrating around. In this quest to remove unwanted movements of the Marble Machine X, I'm going to try to find any kind of movement and just remove it if I can. And I think belt runners is an obvious choice here.
I really love how these belt runners look. It was super fun to make them and they work absolutely perfect. So we're done with the belt runners for both sides of the machine. Let's cross it off the list. Belt runners are fixed. I hope that the timing belt would make the whole Marble Machine X more still, but it's still vibrating. Let me show you. The flywheel is unbalanced. So here you can clearly see the funnel shaking. I'm now going to disconnect the flywheel and break it. And the funnel stops shaking. I have bad news and I have amazing, wonderful news. <laughs> the bad news is that the flywheel is not running true, so it makes the whole machine shake. The wonderful news is that I'm gonna fix it with this. <laughs> This is my best idea ever. I'm gonna lay the flywheel in place using this. You don't think it's gonna work? Au contraire. <laughs> this is my best idea ever. Angle grinder is not yet touching the flywheel and here's where my artificial intelligence washer stack cut depth system comes in play. So I can remove washers here to increase the cut depth. Place your bets now everyone, this is going to be epic. World premiere for the new song, it's called Angle Grinder by the Marvel Machine X. <coughs> I have to just get my instrument ready here. I mounted the angle grinder parallel to the flywheel and as you can see that's not really good. The wheel is cutting here and here and that's not at all how an angle grinder is designed to cut. I'm angling the angle grinder so the outside of the grinding disc will be the cutting surface. That part of the wheel is rotating faster and will cut much better. This is how an angle grinder should cut. It is working but painfully slow. I've been using the sanding disc. I think this is the most aggressive one. I'm gonna begin with this one. Just another day at the Wintergarten office. <laughs> Oh, this turned into a little bit of a nightmare. <laughs> Who would have guessed? <laughs> oh, maybe it wasn't my best idea ever. I just overheated the angle grinder. Of course, it went up in smoke. It doesn't start anymore. That's dead. The studio is a total disaster and the flywheel is still wobbly. <laughs> a for effort though. It kind of worked. I think when the flywheel goes into the angle grinder, it's just too much material to remove. It's not rigid enough to really cut. It just moves with the flywheel and also clamping this to the frame that moves with the flywheel. The flywheel is less wobbly now, but I have a new idea. <laughs> Even better idea, okay? Avon 79, if you're watching, maybe take notes. 35 kilo concrete backing up my disc sander, who is now in a relationship with the flywheel, okay? Listen to this. That's the sound of a flywheel that is not running true. Yes? Yes? To fix a new depth of cut, I'm just using leverage like this. Give it a little bump. There. As you can see here, the cut looks so much better and I now touch the whole circle of the wheel. 
But if you look at this piece of paper, the wheel is still not running true. So you can see the piece of paper bending differently on different parts of the circle. That should not be happening. And I discovered this gap between two of the rings, which should absolutely not be there. So I welded that shut. I moved the disc sander and lathed the other side of the flywheel as good as I can. Then I returned to the first side. Three days grinding. <laughs> I really want to get this right. I'm using the computer now with electric motor. So it handles itself. I don't have to be by the machine all the time. I have to take very light cuts. Otherwise I can't get it to run through. It's getting better and better all the time, but three days. Let's scrape up those pawns, should we? <laughs> 25 seconds. 15. Checkmate. Meanwhile, I am getting checkmated by this flywheel. It's not going well. Adjustment of depth of cut. I've been throwing myself at this task for three days and this is the end result. Let's do a test here. So this is the absolute best I could do and it's pretty good at this spot. So here is how it looked before in the beginning and here is after. So you can see it's a huge improvement. But if I move the paper, you could see that it's not really perfect. Much better than before, but not perfect. So when you look at the wheel from the front, it looks like it's running really nice. Let's measure the vibration of the funnels when I speed up. Ooh. I worked for three days and the vibrations are worse. <laughs> no! And I've been on this three days straight and the funnels are vibrating more now than they did before. There is one last thing to try before I'm gonna admit myself defeated by this. We have a happy ending. I actually found a solution. I used disc magnets and then I put them on the wheel on different places. I tested different positions and quantities and found out exactly six magnets right here. It's perfect. It's just balancing the wheel perfectly. I marked in the perfect location and I need exactly these six magnets on this position. If I remove only one of these six, the vibrations are back, but with the six, no vibrations. The magnets are on and I start the machine now. So I'm now almost completely still. I'm taking the three magnets off. Getting up to speed. So let's compare before and after. So here is with magnets. Here is without magnets. With magnets and without magnets. Quite a difference. Same thing on the vibraphone. Here's there's no magnets and with magnets completely still. Again, no magnets at all and with magnets. It really works. <sighs> Three days work to get rid of these vibrations and I did it in the end. I'm so happy. Now I've gotten rid of a lot of machine movement. I'm gonna get rid of the movement inside the marble dropper to make the marble hit the funnel every time. When a marble drops, the gate remains still. But when the gate closes, there's a small shake here. There. I'm going to measure this shake and then I'm going to fix it. Both of my two angle grinders are now dead. I think I have the best chance to repair this one, so I'm gonna start with this one. Look how they squash the cable here in the cable holder. I think this is the issue. Unbelievable. Destruction can commence. So the simple idea here is just to add mass and structure. The more mass, the more energy it will take to move this. So I hope this will get rid of all the motion. Every time I have the chance to make a simpler weld like this, where I can have a good working position and it's like a V-groove weld with thick material, I'm trying my best to make nice looking welds. It's mostly for fun, but I've seen beautiful TIG welds and 
someday in my life, I hope I will be able to lay down a really nice TIG weld. I'm just welding way too little to make those really beautiful welds, but it's always fun to try. I increased the mass of the dropper, but the energy of the gate closing is the same. So if E actually equals M, we should see less shake. So let's look at before I added some mass. And here is after. So on the machine we have these water level things and now I have a digital level. So here I'm adjusting the feet until I see that the digital level is on 0, 0.00. It's not really crucial that the machine is 0, 0.00. It's just very important that it's the same every time. So if we're gonna be precise with how the marble bounces, we have to be precise with the machine's position contra gravity. So now we know that the machine is pointing straight down towards the middle of the earth. Isn't that cool? Fixed. In the last test, I used this tape to hold up marbles in the marble divider to make other marbles pass over them. The problem was that this tape got loose and the divider clogged up with marbles. So for this test, I've machined these. This is a simple wood strip, but this strip is two millimeter higher, which means that when I put this under the marble divider, like so, this marble is now exactly flush. Fixed. Last but not least, funnel position. I've used this Velcro band, it's a cable tie, and I've moved this funnel closer to the snare drum so the marbles are kept a little bit earlier. I think this looks really great. It's hitting very good. I also programmed some fast notes. Those. Da -da, da -da. Funnel position look perfect. I'm super excited. A very, very long week have led up to the 30,000 marble test. We're gonna do it now. It is time for the 30,000 marble test. And in this test, I'm going to be sure to follow up more continuously during the test and show you more of the test itself than we did in the last video. It's four hours and 10 minutes <laughs> to get up to 30,000 marbles. We drop exactly 120 marbles per minute because we're playing exactly 120 BPM. I think we only showed you half of the work I've done leading up to this test. There's so many small fixes that don't make it into the videos to keep the videos somewhat watchable. I'm really, really, really excited for this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Lift off. <laughs> First marble is dropped. First half an hour check in, 3600 marbles, no fails, clean floor.
7,200 marbles, no fail. Look at the clean floor. <laughs> So far we have been listening to the machine through the camera microphone, so I thought I'd put a microphone closer to the snare drum and record it more properly so we can hear the snare drum more isolated and maybe improvise some music to it. Now we hear the snare drum more and the mechanical noise less, but we can take this one step further by using a gate, which removes all audio signal below a certain volume threshold level. Listen when I apply the gate, how the mechanical noise between the snare drum hits completely disappears and we're left with only the snare drum completely isolated. I'm going to try to make some kind of music to this super fast snare drum. The tempo is crazy high, but we'll see what happens. in a cleaner floor. I'm absolutely floored by just how clean that floor is. 28,000 marbles played, zero failed. Marbles played, zero failed, only 1,000 marbles to go. Look at me smiling there, I'm so happy at this moment. There's only five minutes left of the whole marble test. And I'm just preparing the microphone to announce to you the 100% reliability, zero fails and 30,000 marbles played, and all of a sudden behind my back I hear a sound. So 
So here is what happened. The marble divider turned slow and the marble started to build up inside this pipe here. This pipe should always be empty. They should never stay in there. So the fish there kept on feeding marbles faster than the marble divider could clear them. This pipe got filled up. So the fish there couldn't drop off the marbles because other marbles was in the way. So six marbles ended up on the floor just before the test was done. This is so intense in the room. <laughs> Four hours and 15 minutes of this pounding snare drum. And <laughs> every time I do these tests, I go to sleep and I hear this snare drum literally. I have to try to close it out to be able to <laughs> fall asleep. I just hear do do do. Huge success. We played far over 30,000 marbles. And we have six marbles on the floor just before the finishing line but the funnel captured all the marbles. So we played over 30,000 marbles. Each and every one jumped straight into the marble funnel. <sighs> Everything else worked. It was just this pipe got full. So the marbles came straight out of the fish there and they couldn't go into the pipe. To actually see the machine performing at this level, uh, it uh, puts my belief level up to 52%. <laughs> okay, diagnostics. I think we have some nice things to fill in. It was our fourth test and we played 30,000 marbles. Six marbles failed. Thanks to everyone who pointed out in the commentary field that all my math in this document was actually totally wrong. <laughs> so I have to calculate the earlier reliabilities against because I think I didn't express the numbers as percentages. So I'm going to correct all of this with correct math this time. Let's see today. 99.98 reliability. 5.19. <laughs> New high score. <laughs> I want to introduce another way of making these scores even better. I want to also give a premium for the amount of marbles played. Because if we play one marble and that marble works, we have 100% on everything. But it's not as impressive to get one marble right as it is to get 30,000 marbles right. I think we did much better today and I want the score to reflect that. So I'm also going to weigh in the amount of marbles. I'm going to have a goal that in the last tests before we start to make music, I wanna play one million marbles in one test. I think it's possible. It is possible. Marbles percentage of goal. So 10,000 is 1%, 30,000 should be 3%. So in this adjustment, I'm gonna punish all the scores by multiplying with the marble percent. Okay, so last week we had 0.1% completion. <laughs> so we're getting really bleak low scores here, but that's okay because this system will show us more accurately our progress for real. So let's check what we did today. Whoa, 0.155. We're not even on 1% yet. It's, it's, it's true though. I think this is really, really good. What I'm also going to do is I'm gonna note the fail in this document. Fail one, six marbles. Marble divider turned slow, causing fish stir pipe to flood and six marbles went to the floor. And the cause for this, I think, is that the snare height modules were not perfectly tuned. I just used the height modules I had and I'm going to make custom ones in upcoming videos. I think this is a really minor fault and I'm over the moon happy with being 0.1. 155% completed on the Marble Fin X. Today was a huge success. I'm super motivated to keep on playing more marbles. It should be possible from here to grow the marble count exponentially because a lot of the things that I've been working on the last videos have been general things for the whole machine. So it's not only been about the snare drum and what I've learned I can use for all the upcoming channels. So I hope I can turn the marble count a little bit exponential from here. Last week I told everyone that you can download a free music license 
to use Vintergatan music in your videos and live streams on any internet platform. The free music license was really popular, so thanks everyone who has downloaded it. And thanks to everyone who is watching this whole crazy video series. Thanks to patrons and thanks to YouTube members for pushing me into this fire cloud that is called the Marble Machine X. To summarize my feeling right now, I'm ecstatic about this result. I'm very proud over the fact that 30,000 marbles hit the funnel. The funnel looks great where it is. I'm so happy that we can keep these beautiful marble funnels that we have invested so much hard work and thought into. And this was proof of concept for all the marble funnels for the whole Marble Machine X, I think. So really, really great progress. And I hope I will be back as soon as possible with 40,000 and beyond. Thank you.